the technique of creating a slub yarn or a thick and thin yarn is actually quite simple. As you spin along, you want to be drafting using a short forward draw. And when you come to a point where you want to make a slub, you actually just reach back into your fiber supply. And depending on the si size that you want to make your slub, you wrist twist. So you're actually going to physically turn your hand about 45 degrees towards you and draft that for fiber forward. You're looking for a thin spot from your fiber to your fiber supply. So if you notice that when I do that wrist twist and draft forward, there's a thinning out of the fiber at the other end as I reach back into my fiber supply. The, th the bigger the fiber is that you pull and the thinner that spot is, the more variance you're gonna have between your thick parts and your thin parts of your yarn. If you're wanting a slightly thicker part in your um, thin part of your yarn, that sounds very confusing, but just bear with me, then you'll need to not draft quite so far forward to create that thinning out of fibers on the other end of your slub. If you want that to be very, very thin, you wanna draft forward even a little bit more to create an incredibly thin spot and that will create a very very big difference between your thick parts and your thin parts of your yarn. I don't tend to pre-draft my fiber when I'm making a thick and thin. I tend to just spin off the top across the top of my comb top and I don't strip it too too much. The thickness of your slubs can only be the thickness of the fiber that you've stripped down. So if you strip your fiber too too much you won't be able to have really super thick slubs. You may not want really thick slubs but I wouldn't recommend going any thinner than the width of your finger. The rest of this video is me spinning thick and thin if you want to continue to watch to see some difference differences in how I spread my thick and thin slubs. Sometimes here I'm doing one after another so that you can really see but as I move on through the video I spread them out more and more and you can see what it looks like when I draft a slub and when I leave several stretches of thinner uh, yarn in between. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. For more visit wellforpearls.com or patreon.com slash wellforpearls.